Given coming and all that cooking ahead, it might be a good time to clean your oven. Yes, and the Queen of Clean, who sponsors this segment, has a great way to do it without all the scrubbing. Check it out. Okay, guys, I got my rubber gloves on. There can be only two things that are going to happen. I'm going to draw your blood or I'm going to clean the oven. And lucky for you, I'm going to clean the oven and I'm going to show you how. This is a really good way to do it. If you have a self-cleaning oven, you can use this method if you don't want to use the self-clean feature. So let me begin and show you how it works. First of all, I'm going to vacuum out the junk that gets in the bottom of the oven. You get burned on food, crispies as I call them, and things. Now, I'm using this VacuFlex attachment on my vacuum, but any attachment will work. So I'm just going to turn it on and vacuum what I can out of the oven. Now, when you're done vacuuming, what I always do is I take my vacuum tool and I put it in the dishwasher to clean it when I'm done vacuuming out the oven. So that's a bonus tip for you today. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix up our solution. Now what I have here in the bowl is I have about a cup of baking soda in that bowl. And to that I'm going to add enough white vinegar and enough hydrogen peroxide to make a paste. So I'm going to start, give it a squirt of hydrogen peroxide first, then I'm going to hit it with a little vinegar. And you know, there's no wrong or right here. Don't try to measure, don't worry about it. I just want it to be kind of a runnier kind of paste. It just, I can spread easily. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on. And then I am going to take either some 4 out steel wool or I'm going to take a scrubbing sponge and I'm going to kind of spread it out. Now, you don't have to scrub it. I mean, I want you to work smarter, not harder. So don't try to scrub it. Just pat it on. You want that paste on there. And then the nicest thing about this method of cleaning it is now you can shut the oven and walk away for an hour. So I'm going to go have a cup of coffee. I'll see you in an hour. All right, it's been an hour. I'm gloved up again because I like to protect the manicure. Everything I'm using is natural. If you don't want to wear rubber gloves, you don't have to. Now, you can see where I put it. Now, I would have done the whole oven if I was actually doing it at home. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sprayer on my hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to spray some more onto my baking soda just to get that moistened because while I was gone, it kind of dried out a little bit. Then, I'm going to take either this scrubbing sponge or my fine steel wool, and I'm going to scrub. So I'm just going to start, and I'm going to scrub just like that. Now, I don't know if you can see that I'm picking up all kinds of dirt on there. Can you see how that's cleaning that? When you're done, rinse it, wipe it out with some paper towels, and you're totally done. Okay, I'm going to get out of these gloves. We'll see you next time. For more information, go to queenofclean.com. Thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean. Do you not love her? <laughs> she is so adorable. Love her. I love put the gloves on oh, and protect, protect the manicure. The manicure. <laughs> <laughs>